today I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious and easy and foolproof bread you will ever make. This recipe comes from Jim Leahy. He's the owner of the Sullivan Street Bakery in New York City. And he decided to come up with a recipe that was easy for the home cook to make. All you need is some flour. You can use regular flour or bread flour. You need salt. I have sea salt, but you can also use regular salt. I have yeast and I have some water. And this is what we're going to do. We're basically, we're going to start off by, we're going to fluff our flour, because anytime you're using flour, you have to get air into it so it measures out correctly. And we're going to use three cups of flour. And then we're also going to leaven this out. You can even use a knife if you want. We need three cups of flour. That'll give you the right weight measurement flour. Well, here's three cups of regular flour, a fourth teaspoon of yeast. Here's a fourth. And then we're also going to add some salt. And we're going to need one and one fourth teaspoon of salt. Don't use the I actually um, sometimes have done it just with one teaspoon of salt, and that's what I'm going to do now. Because if I can get away with doing less, I will. <laughs> and then we're going to add one and a half cups of water. And it can just be regular temperature cold water. It doesn't have to be warm water. It doesn't have to be anything like that. Ingredients. You're basically just mixing this. The dough is going to be kind of shaggy and sticky. But you're not going to knead it. You're just going to leave it in this bowl. And you're going to cover it with some plastic saran wrap. So you don't get any air on it. Sometimes it helps to also, if you have um, some tape, and just tape it. And we're basically going to leave it like this for about 12 to 18 hours. So it's 18 hours later, so I want to show you what the dough looks like after 18 hours. So there are little bubbles everywhere, you can kind of smell the yeast. And now what we're going to do, we're going to flour the surface, we're going to place this dough on it and fold it over once or twice. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of flour. And then I'm going to take the dough, and you kind of want to flour your hands probably too to get the dough out of the bowl. And it is sticky, and that's fine, that's normal. And here it is. Placing it on the counter, and just put a little more flour on top of it. And you're basically just going to fold it once or twice. You can leave it like this, or just fold it like this. And then we're going to leave it, we're going to set the alarm for 15 minutes. And in 15 minutes, we'll go to the next step. So it's been 15 minutes. Transfer onto a towel. So we're going to get as much flour on here so we're able to shape it. I'm just going to see how it's sort of be able to move it around, that's what you want. Here are the nice little bubbles, they're going to look awesome once the bread is done. Right here, so we're going to flour this top. I'm going to add a little bit, I'm using cornmeal here, you add a cornmeal. On the top. And now we're basically going to fold it. And we're going to let it sit for about two hours. We also need a six to eight quart heavy covered pot like this one. Either it can be cast iron, enamel, pyrex, or ceramic. So it's been 30 minutes. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Wow, nice. It's awesome. Kind of springy, but it's not sticky. All right, so now I'm going to get the pot out of the oven. And it's hot, so be careful. We're going to put the dough into this pan. See how hot that is? And that's what we want. 
And here you basically dump the dough <laughs> into this pot. And don't worry if it hits, if it's not centered, all you do is kind of shake it and it evens out. And then we're going to put the pot back, the lid back on. We're going to put it in the oven. And be careful. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes. And now we're going to take the lid off the bread. And be careful again because it's super hot in here. You can see now we're going to let it brown. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. I took a peek earlier and I like the color of it. So I'm going to take it out. Depending on your oven, you might want to leave it longer or shorter. And you just basically look at the color of it. I like this color. I like a crusty exterior. But you can even get it out when it's a little lighter. It smells awesome. So here we are with the bread. I let it cool a little bit. And it smells awesome, I have to say. And I'm going to show you what it looks from the inside. Nice and crusty, and every time I make it, it sort of uh, comes out into a different shape. So I'm going to cut into this. Oh God, this is so awesome! Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm going to dip it in my little olive oil balsamic vinegar and crushed gar garlic <laughs> dipping and the crushed garlic is in the middle and now basically what I did is I just got a garlic clove and put it in the oven when I was baking the bread so when it was done you just squish out the garlic put it in the middle put the oil put the balsamic vinegar put a little salt and now I'm going to taste it It's like you bought the bread. Nobody's gonna believe you made it. I promise. It's so good. Mmm. And the garlic is kind of sweet.